Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new office room slash our guest room. Ah, I can't believe I'm filming my first Milso Box unboxing in our new house. So if you guys don't know what Milso Box is, Milso Box is a monthly subscription service for the military significant other. If you are subscribed to Milso Box, you will get a package very similar to this one right here, filled with a bunch of Milso made, veteran made, and other American made goodies. And if you guys are going to be interested in checking out Milso Box after you watch this video and see all the amazing things that are inside, you can use my coupon code JVFRIENDS10 for 10% off of your very first order. And what will make a better gift? for the holidays than a Milsa box subscription. This one is Fragile, which I feel like I've mentioned before. Every time I see the word fragile, I just remember that one episode of the Rugrats where that guy just goes like, hey, what's Fragile mean? <laughs> Anyone else, just me? Okay. Your greatest responsibility is to love yourself and know you are enough. We've got our little thank you card from Milsa Box. Thank you for your support. I have truly enjoyed being a part of Milsa Box for the past year and look forward to many more to come. Happy holidays, Kristen. I can't believe it's been a whole year of you running Milsa Box. You've been doing such a great job. It's been amazing. Ooh, this packaging is really cute. Look at that, guys. We've got like a cute little like ribbon and I like like the khaki army green color. There's a cute little thank you tab. This is very beautifully done. Okay, ooh, this is a fun theme. Naughty is the new nice. As always, gonna put that right over there. And I'm just gonna get right into it. The first thing we have here is a wooden spoon. The last wooden spoon that we got from Milsa Box is honestly my husband's favorite wooden spoon in our entire house because it's like kind of smaller and he like weirdly really likes it. This one says, just eat it on it, which I think is so cute. And I'm gonna add it to all of our wooden spoons. Have some fun and some laughs in the kitchen with the sassy wooden spoon by the Homebody Society. The next thing we have in here, it's another, see, I always say that I'm more of a coffee person than a tea person, but then we get these teas in Milsa Box. We've got Bourbon Street Vanilla Tea. That sounds like something that I would like as a tea. This tea is fruity tasting with sweet undertones. Natural vanilla flavoring gives the Ugh, I've never said this word out loud. Rebos, Rebos, somebody tell me how to say this. Rebos <laughs> tea, a wonderful jazzy depth. And it's caffeine free, so I can drink it at like 6 p.m. and not be full of regret. Hello Trouble, daydream about visiting New Orleans with some Bourbon Street Vanilla Tea by E Herbs. Ooh, ooh, ooh I see a candle. We have Candlewood Candle Co. We have Mistletoe Mischief. I'm gonna guess. I feel like this is gonna smell kind of like piney and like pepperminty. I definitely smell piney and almost minty. Am I right? Am I, does it, is it gonna tell me? No, okay. This mistletoe mischief candle by Candlewood Candle Co. will inspire you to get into some trouble and some fun this holiday season. I'm not sure if I'm actually smelling like a mintiness, but like, I wish it had notes on it so I knew if I was right or wrong. I feel like I was right winter and cozy like I want to burn this and then like also set up the fireplace and like have like that going together because mm, I love candles I love candles so much up next I'm gonna grab this because I don't know what this is I'm assuming this is why it says fragile on the side of this box color me mine from Green Valley Arizona the art of having fun paint your own pottery okay okay I'm intrigued What else is new? New house, same me. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, this makes so much sense now. Give it a rest this holiday season with a ceramic spoon rest by Color Me Mine in Green Valley, Arizona. That is perfect. It fits perfectly. And our current spoon rest, it was like copper and like doesn't really look copper anymore. So like. I might finally get rid of that and replace it with this really cute little one because our old one was like large and we currently have a smaller looking kitchen. So like, I love it. Look how pretty this detailing is if it would focus. Look at that. It looks kind of like Halloween-y in a little sense, but also like I get it. Like maybe it's like kind of like pepperminty, like a candy cane. To me, it looks very Halloween-y, but at the same time, very festive. It could be used for multiple holidays. All right. Up next, we have, oh, it's a cute little sign. I'm only a morning person on Christmas day. This is very cute and it has a little cup of coffee there. I'm never really a morning person, but like, I guess for presents I could be. 
but very cute. I have to find somewhere to hang this. Maybe next to our little like coffee display. Listen, Karen. <laughs> Funny. Listen, Karen. We can't all be morning people. Let others know before approaching with this cute sign by sincere surroundings. I love that. Oh, there's even more stuff in here. What else do we have? Ooh, is this chocolate? This looks like chocolate. It smells peppermint chocolatey. Chocolate, the ultimate sin. I mean, indulgence, LOL. Enjoy these dark chocolate sea salt caramels and toffee from Dakota Nuts and Candy. We promise we won't tell if you don't share. Hopefully my husband doesn't hear the packaging opening because I'm about to try one of these. I'm gonna try the toffee. I don't know which one the toffee is. This looks like it has caramel in it. I will share the caramel. I'm not, I love sweets. I love chocolate. I don't like caramel. I chose poorly. This was the caramel. Ah, oh, the toffee. Mm. Hate caramel. Love toffee. But if you like caramel, it didn't taste that bad. I just, I don't like. I don't know why. Everybody loves caramel, except me. As always, I like sharing the coupons that we get inside of Milsa Box for my viewers. I know that like you should probably subscribe to Milsa Box to get these coupons, but like it's also like the season of giving, and I'm about to give you a great gift. Spice up, great selection and healthy options of your favorite organic herbs, blends, teas, and more at eHerbs. And if you go onto the eHerbs website, which is eHerbs.com, you, you can get 25% off your $85 plus purchase with the online code GET25. So like, go get some tea for people. And then we have the Freedom Sisters podcast. Listen on your favorite podcast platform. I like the little naughty, nice, or badass checklist right here, and it's a badass podcast. A show where sisters in service talk about the journey of life and service from hardships to victories and everything in between. Stories of women veterans from service to success with a little bit of sass. www.freedomsisters.com. I'm going to check that out. I love supporting women who make podcasts. I love listening to podcasts. I prefer listening to podcasts to music, especially in the car. Feels like you're just hanging out with friends. But okay, I think that was everything in the Naughty is the new nice Milsa box. I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing December's Milsa box with me because I know that I had a great time. Especially with that coffee. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you guys are gonna be interested in checking out Milsa box, you can go to milsabox.com and use my coupon code JVFRIENDSIGN for 10% off of your very first order. If you haven't gotten a gift for a Milso in your life, or if you wanna like give yourself a stocking stuffer, I don't think it'll fit into a normal size stocking. They're usually at least yay big. <laughs> so if you wanna put something under the tree for yourself or for a Milso that you know and think would like really enjoy a Milsa box, you should do that. Check it out, get 10% off. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed unboxing this with me. If you did, make sure you leave it a nice big thumbs up for me. In the comment section down below, let me know what is one of your favorite gifts that you have given. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. It does not have to be the most expensive gift you have ever given. Just a nice gift that you are super proud of. You think you aced it, like that was the best thing you ever did. Just to maybe give people some ideas for some gifts that you can give this holiday season because I know that with the state of the world, I know that maybe you can't be getting as extravagant of a gift as you would like to be giving, but you can still give something. The one that comes to mind for me is not exactly the cheapest gift I've ever given and not really something, you know, pandemic friendly, but it is my favorite gift that I've ever given. So I'm gonna share it anyway. And it was Mother's Day in 2017, something like that, where I got my whole family tickets to go see Metallica live in concert. Honestly, it was a little bit expensive, but so worth it because like now we get to say that we all saw Metallica live in concert as a family and Avenged Sevenfold opened for them and they changed their song Hail to the King to Hail to the Queen in honor of Mother's Day and it was just a wonderful time and genuinely one of my favorite gifts I've ever given because it was a great experience for everyone involved, including myself. Like I, I gave the gift, but I got to enjoy the gift too. So kind of greedy. And I know that my mom is gonna be watching this. So um, hi mom. Yes, favorite gift I think that I've ever given. As far as experience gifts go, I know that like, probably not looking at any fun experiences in the near future, but you could like totally make like a little like fake little ticket thing that's like, this is good for one trip to Greece one day, you know, when the world is back to a semblance of normal. This is my gift. Like you could do like a future gift. 
that's just an idea. I would love to keep up with you guys across all of my social media platforms. I always have links to them all in the description box down below. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, you totally should. I post new videos a little bit more often lately. If you haven't seen, I've been posting house hunting videos, so you should definitely check those out. More things coming soon. Can't wait for you guys to see everything. Make sure you hit the little post notification bell so that you're notified when I do upload new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!